Tommy, it's a beautiful day here at Old Bahama Bay Resort, man. Yeah. I have not stopped thinking about that mud and snapper. That thing was huge. I need to get redemption. What do you think our chances are today? Uh, I think the weather is good. I think we got, I think we have a great chance of catching a few mutton snappers today. So oh, man. I hope you get your uh, your strong arms on today. All right, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Another day on the flat with Josh, my man. You know, this guy is so hyper. You know, he's he's a good guy though, he can fish. But this guy, when he sees a nice fish, he just gets so caught up in the moment and tell him I'm giving him instructions. He doesn't hear I say. But I like this guy. He's all right. I really like him. I like you too, bro. <laughs> okay, right now we're getting in position. Uh, tide's working his way out. So those fish came in and uh, they're now going to work their way out with the tide. They're going to feed out with the tide. So we're just getting in position here. We're going to pull out and try to intercept these fish. The uh, muttons uh, going back out to deep water. One o'clock, 60 feet. I see him. Good guy. See him now? Yeah, he's running. And he's gone. Stop, stop, stop. One is at it. Jig, jig. Jig. One is at it. Jig, he's on. Mudding on. Mutton. Mutton on. Yes. Woo, we got a mutton on. All right, Tommy. Yeah, my brother. Oh, he's running. Wasn't the bigger one that we wanted, but hey. Hey, dude, we got to start off with something. Yeah, I agree with you, my friend. That's a nice fish right there, my gosh. Yeah. And we're going to let these fish go, guys. We're not keeping them. These are sport fish. Yeah. Catch and release mud and snappers. There's another mud behind him, dude. Yeah. There's yeah. three mud Three yep. mud Oh, my gosh. Four mud Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, five, five muttons. That one's giant, that one's giant. Oh my gosh, there's so many muttons. Let's bring them around this other side, John. Other side, other side? Yeah. Right, come on. Look at that, they're so beautiful, look at that. Are you kidding me? That is gorgeous, Tommy. Yeah, lovely. Oh man, let me hold that fish. Look at that mutton right there, Tommy. What a lovely, beautiful fish. Lovely fish. Oh my gosh, guys. This is what we came here for. There were four more huge muddins following this one. We're going to let this one go, and we're going to try to get some more. Oh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. That is so, so, so cool. Hey, my brother. Dude. Nicely done, man. Dude, and there were so many yeah. more with them. Yeah. We you need know, to get back on those Yeah, fish. what we got to do, we got we to gotta make a loop. Give me a loop? Yeah, we're gonna make a loop, but yeah. let's just wait for a few seconds, let them get settled yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So what we're gonna do is let's continue pulling down. Okay. Because I know this spot. I can come right, right back to this one here. Perfect. Tommy, what are these muddins eating here on the flats? Uh, they're eating the shrimp, the crabs, the lobsters. They're mainly a shellfish diet. Yeah, yeah. That's when they come on the flats like this, that's what that's what they are, that's what they are hunting. Hey, hey, mutton behind that little I see tree it, stump I see there. Here, here. Get in front of him. Go ahead. These fish are gonna see you when you make a cast and the water's just clear. You gotta get in a little when you cast a fish, you gotta get in a little crouch position and you know and work that work that jig. Okay. And your your percentage of catching is gonna be greater. Because that fish isn't gonna see you, but you standing straight up, that fish can see you. Right out, out of the water. Oh, money, 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 money. Oh, my God. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Did you get? He's on. There we go. Bonefish on. Big bonefish. There's a mud right there. Look at, look at this, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Got me wrapped up in 500 pounds of seaweed. Still a hook. He's right there. He's yeah. Just... Still on there. You got to break off that seaweed, bro. 
goes. You gotta grab that seaweed in front of you. That's the only way you're gonna get that fish. This is bigger than anyone we caught before, Tommy. Four pounder. Pepped up in a thousand pounds of weed. Look at that, guys. That's a bonefish right there. Wow. What do you think he weighs, Tommy? Three, four pounds? Yeah, by four pounds. Beautiful fish. It smells just like a musky, actually. Dude, literally same as a musky. Unbelievable. Let's let him go. Yeah. Oh. He let himself go. Tommy, I've caught a lot of muskies in my day fishing on the Great Lakes. Uh -huh. And that brought back some memories, man. That bonefish, I'm telling you guys, I know this, this is weird right now, but it smelled almost identical to a musky. It's crazy. So these fish come in here with a high tide. They come in to feed and they move as the tide goes out. So So they're never in the same place ever? No, they don't stay here and make it their home. They, they feed in and they feed out. That's what they do, that's how they find food. They may move slow, but they move. Josh, yes. see the, mutton, the next mutton right here in front of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look here, did you jig it? Jig it, here it is, there you go. Mutton on. Oh, that was awesome. Right around the weeds. You ran around the beach? Yeah. Go forward. Put your, put, your, put your rod forward. Got him. Got him out. Oh, that's a nice mutton, dude. That is what we came out here for, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, give me some. Coming back there, Tommy? Yeah. Look at that beautiful mutton snap right there. Oh, my gosh. I mean. This is our second one of the day. Just to hold this fish in my hands and be in this shallow water is such, it's so cool. I mean, they're so pretty. And this is more of an offshore fish in Florida, guys. I mean, you don't really catch these in three feet of water. That's what we're doing here in the Bahamas. It's so cool. Man, that's sick. Such a cool fish, guys. Is that that one there I see? Yeah. Okay, come on this side, come on this side here. Come over here, come over here, come over here. About 40 feet, right here, see? 40 feet, go ahead. Jake, Jake, here he comes, Jake, Jake, Jake. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. See him up here, about 50 feet. Right here, go ahead. Jake. Mutton or bull? Bonefish. Big bonefish. That's a big bone, dude. Yeah, I mean. oh, he's taking line, guys. <laughs> It's a big bone, Tommy. We're in a little trouble though, because we got that tree there, so I gotta come back a little bit. And muttons too. Muttons too? Yeah. Oh my gosh, they're so strong, guys. They are so strong. I get it, man. I'm addicted to bonefish now. I really am. You hear the line scream like that? Are you kidding me? Get his head up. So nice you can catch those while I was catching muttons on the flats, eh? That's a huge bonefish. That's my PB all day long. Yes. Completely destroyed the bonefish I caught earlier. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, mutton, mutton, mutton. Mutton, come on, come on, Josh. Great fish. Big mutton. Drop, let drop it. You go. He, he turn, he turn away from you. That's a nice oh. So mutton move, right here too, guys. I see him right there. Is that him right there? Can yeah, that's him. That's him. Let me cast ahead of him. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Let's let it sit. Let it sit. Okay. Jig it. Jig. Oh. Jig it again. I think he hit it. That was him. I'm 200% certain that was him hit it just now. Oh my gosh, can't even catch my breath, guys. We had that bonefish. That's a huge bonefish. And then we had that mutton right there. He's sitting there waiting for us. Is that, what is that right there, Tommy? Oh, is that a little bonefish? No, it's a little barracuda. A little barracuda. Guys, there is so much life here on the flats. It's incredible. For these muddins, we're using a quarter ounce jig head and a curly tail. I'm just putting this on there like this. I don't want to put it on too much. Come back. Put it on and then you want to fix your jig. Make sure that all the, everything's in line so it looks perfect. And it's that simple, guys. Hey, Josh, you have to take your time here. There's a lot of barracudas here. And I don't want you to throw the jig out because they, they probably cut it off. Yeah, there's mutton. Eight, two o'clock, 30 feet, 40 feet. Okay, jig, jig it. See him? Yeah, no. What's, what's that right there? What's that right there? What's that right there? Mudden? Yeah, mudden. go ahead. Mudden. Oh, it's a giant, dude. That's a bone, eh? Looks like a bone to me. That's a bone. That's a freaking stud. That's a bone. Where's he at? There we go. <laughs> That ain't a mud dude, I don't think, is it? Yeah. Let's hope he get out of there. Dude, he's gonna get me around that tree, bro. Keep your rod down, bro. Oh, that's a giant, dude. Oh, that's a monster mudden. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. Tommy. Hold, hold it there, partner. I'm gonna go back a bit. He's, he's loose. Go to the other tree, go to the other oh. tree. Gotta keep him from the tree. Keep him from the tree. Keep him from the tree. All right, he's good, he's good. Don't hoss him too much now. All right, he's, we're safe, guys. That is stressful. This is a giant mudding, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish, Tommy. Look at that mudding snapper, guys. That fish fought hard. He took me almost into that tree right over there. Almost broke me off. Tommy. Yeah, nice fish. What a great, great fish, man. Wow. Well, you know, I grew up in this little settlement of West End, and this is where my, at the little age, at the tender age, my father uh, used to bring me out on the water and teach me how to fish. And uh, my dad's my dad, he was fishing very long time in, in the West End. He started out in Bimini. Then he came over to West End and met my mom. <clears throat> and he's been here ever since. That's 60, 70 years he's been fishing down here. Um, my dad was, was called Bonefish Foley, the legendary Bonefish Foley. And he fished a lot of, People, famous people like President Nixon and Kurt Gowdy, Ernest Hemingway, Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, you know, and the, and, the, and the list goes on. And uh, I decided, hey, this is what I wanted to do as well. I wanted to be a guide. And I had opportunities to do a lot of other things, but fishing was my passion. And uh, here I am today. You know, loving it even more. The more I fish, the more I love it. Oh, bonefish, 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 bonefish. 20, 30 feet. Jig it. Is that a mudden? Just jig it, buddy. That's about bonefish. Jig it. Stop. Jig, here he comes. Oh. Big bonefish. He's spooling me, Tommy. He's spooling me. Tommy, we need to get over. He's going to give me the rocks. Give me the th and, 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 and the things. Oh, that's a big bone, man. Is 
That's bigger than the other one, right, Tommy? Yeah, it looks like. Look at that bonefish. That's a beautiful fish. He fought so hard, he took like 100 yards of line. Tommy, how much do you think this thing weighs? Seven pounds? Yeah, about seven. That was awesome. What an amazing fish, guys. I think I'm addicted to bonefish now. Just hearing that line scream like that, very few fishing world can do that. We're back here at the Tiki Bar at Old Baham Bay Resort, and we just had an amazing day, Tom. I mean, seriously, like very. we caught, we got our redemption Monday snapper. We worked hard for that, but we got him. Yeah. We got like what, four or five? Four or five, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We got, broke our PB bonefish, caught some giant, huge bonefish compared to what I've caught before. What was it? The biggest one I say was right at seven? But seven pounds, yeah. Giant. Yeah, unbelievable. It's a huge permit, guys. Huge. How big do you think that permit was? About 35 pounds. He's giant, guys. I've never seen a permit that big before. He was just sitting there. And you know me, super excited Josh, runs up there, throws a cast. Yeah. And the, like, and the rest is history. <laughs> and the rest is history. But don't worry, I'm gonna be coming back to try to get these giant permits. I told Tommy I wanna get these big permit now. Always a cliffhanger when you come to the Bahamas. There's so much to do here. If you guys wanna come here and go fishing, make sure you hit up my man Tommy here. His email's in the description. He is one of the best guys I've ever had the pleasure of fish with. Seriously, Tommy, you are amazing, dude. Hey, man. I learned a lot from you, man. Enjoy fishing enjoy, with you too, buddy. Dude, seriously, I really enjoy your company. I mean, yeah. he's a great guy. You're gonna have a great conversation with him. You're gonna have some laughs, I promise you. And also make sure you guys go and check out Old Bahama Bay Resort. Great place to stay in the West End. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Shimano, Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.